All right, welcome. This is the platinum trophy for God of War. Getting this trophy was absolutely amazing, and I loved every second of this game. This game is a really amazing game. And for uh, this first trophy here, uh, Atreus can turn into a bear. Spoiler alert, all right? <laughs> but he could turn into animals, and you get the first, or I got the first trophy anyway, which was a grizzly encounter, which was for Battle Lead the Bear. And then as the story progressed, I ended up coming across Thor. You know, they go to Kratos' house, and Odin's like, oh, well, that's unfortunate and shit. And then Thor hits Kratos with his hammer and shit. And then uh, you and Thor have to fight. And that gives you the trophy for blood payment or blood debt. And that is literally just battling Thor. It's like the second mission of the game. <laughs> And then these next two uh, trophies, I ended up getting them like bat to bat, like simultaneously bat to bat. And uh, I got this one while I was upgrading my uh, like axe and my melee and my skills and shit, just because um, like I got this one just randomly doing it, which was knock off the rust. And you know, if you play any of these games, you you gotta level up. <laughs> so I was leveling up some of my skills, and then for this one, I was uh, going through all the armor that I could have available at the moment because this was like maybe the third mission in, like not even that. I think like maybe after, right after Thor and me fought. But I upgraded this one because I was like, fuck it, I need some new armor anyway. So I upgraded that one and got Spit Shine, which was literally just to upgrade armor. And then this was one of my favorite side missions. It did involve a lot of running around. Like you had to go bust off a bunch of chains. You had to cut the chains off the whale's fins and its uh, tail. And this is freeing the Lindbaka, which Mamir imprisoned. And it was a really nice side mission, honestly. You got to free a whale, and it was called Making Amends. And then, yeah, spoiler alert, you also get to play with Atreus. <laughs> And this is Anger Boda, and this trophy that I got for this was battling her grandmother, which was Gryla. And it was the trophy, the cauldron, and it's literally just for battling Gryla. That battle was hard as hell, though, honestly, because Atreus doesn't really have too much skills. <laughs> and then Freya, through the whole game, or for the first little part of the game, she wants to kill Kratos, you know, because he kills Balder. Well, she realized that uh, her and Kratos kind of have stuff in common and they could use each other to beat Odin and shit. So she has him come to Vanaheim and you get the trophy backyard brawl once you fight the nameless Valkyrie or the unknown Valkyrie because she attacks you at your house. And then these next two I got simultaneously as well. And uh, this one was for uh, unlocking this amulet which uh, you can equip enchantments to. And just all sort of shit like that. And yeah, how it started was the trophy. And it, it was pretty much just equip and enchantment. <laughs> it was a really easy trophy. And then from here, I ended up getting, like, as soon as I backed out of this little enchantment, like, the little amulet menu, I got the root of the problem. And poor Nihog, like, you had to kill her, and she didn't even do nothing wrong because Odin made it to where the roots imprisoned Freya. So you had to kill the root of the, like, dragon. Like, the dragon that protected the roots. And it made me sad. This side mission, though, was pretty cool, though. It's uh, Luden's, a lot of fuck, Lunda's Orb, and you uh, retrieved the squeaky toy for a dog. And you got the trophy, new friends. And you also get a really nice armor set. That's her armor that she fixes for free. And then, uh, as you progress, you come across random side missions like that uh, Lunda's Orb. And this one was uh, Freya's wedding shrine thing with her and Odin. You destroy, like, two pieces of jewelry from her wedding, and then she tries to get the sword, and then she couldn't, but then she gets the sword, and that was the trophy. It was a good day, and that was getting the sword mortal. And this this side mission, I enjoyed this side mission. This was freeing the half goofas, and you get the trophy full goofa, and freeing these little things were amazing. I actually enjoyed this side mission quite a lot because there's two of them. One in the um, bottom half of the desert, and then one in the top half. And then once you free both of them, they uh, breed and have children. And then the sky becomes like a little starry, blue-looking sky. And this was one of my favorite trophies, and I'm glad they actually put this in the game. I got to pet both the wolves, and I enjoyed every second of it because that was amazing. And I didn't think I could pet the wolves, but I am very glad that we got to pet the wolves. Like, I was happy about that. And you get the trophy besties. <laughs> and that was just for petting... Uh, what were their names? Specky and Spiny, I think. 
And then this one was a random side mission, which was uh, retrieve Durlin's hammer for the Rebellion. And you just have to like go around the Sparloheim and do some random shit here and some random shit there. And then you'll come across his hammer and he's like, ooh, nice, give me my hammer. And yeah, you get the Spirit of the Rebellion complete and then you get the Rebel Leader trophy. And then this was a really simple and easy trophy. Like this happens in the game, like during the story. Like you learn your Spartan roots, which is like the wrath shit, where you can like use your weapons to, like your rage to attack people. Instead of just hitting them with your fist, you use your weapons. And you get the Spartan ways, which was learn the roots. Like learn your Spartan roots, which is pretty much just learn wrath. I hated this mission. I had to kill a dog. As you see, I had to kill Garm. Pissed me off so bad, but spoiler alert again: Atreus has a soul in his knife of his first wolf that you meet in the first mission, and he puts that soul into this uh, giant wolf, which I was so happy about. And yet, yeah, the trophy off the leash was for battling Garm. And then, as I was randomly running around, uh, as you see, I like to hit chest. <laughs> like every chest I see, I tend to open. Like this one, I'm like, ooh, chest, let me get it. So I go over here and I open it up and then um, I get the Phylix trophy, which was for uh, collecting all of the shields. Like, that was the very last shield that I needed to collect, which honestly, them shields are cool as shit. Oh, and then this trophy, I kind of felt bad for it because Mimir just watched Kratos brutally beat the shit out of Heimdall. <laughs> and fucking, like, I kind of felt bad. Like, he just he just gets left laying there. Like, he doesn't disappear or nothing. He just lays there. Look at that shit. He doesn't even, but he's dead. <laughs> but you get the trophy kabumpets for uh, beating the shit out of Heimdall, which was an awesome fucking fight. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, though. And then these next two I got uh, back to back as well. Like um, I got this one for crafting the uh, Dragon Slayer armor, which was um, yeah the Dragon Scale armor, and you get the trophy Dragon Slayer, which was to craft the Dragon Scale armor. Like you had to craft all three pieces, which really isn't hard. You just have to have like Dragon Bones and shit. And then this one, how's it going? Was for repairing the amulet of Yggdrasil, which honestly it took a while to get all that shit. <laughs> And then, here, I ended up doing the Trials of Muselheim, and um, this was the very last boss that I had to beat. And, yeah, I, I hit him with the old combo, hit him with that fucking shit. Look at this shit. Fucking just smack that shit right on his face. That is a fucked up way to kill someone, and I, I am glad that Kratos did it. Because I got Trials by Fire, which was to, you know, finish all the Muselheim Trials. Now, this scene, as you see, I pause it. I had to screenshot this because that shit, to me, dude, was badass as hell. And you get this little scene and this trophy as soon as you battle Hearst and Mist, which is um, two Valkyries who are there to stop you from getting Ragnarok. And, man, I beat the hell out of them. Like, we gave them the Balder combo, bro, like the fucking R2 and Square shit. It was amazing. Like, that scene was just awesome. And I enjoyed every second of beating the shit out of them. That was actually a really good fight. And then this one, um, I almost missed it. You see that purple thing right here? Boom. That was the very last of uh, Kavasir's poems, and that gave me the Librarian Trophy. And I almost skipped that because I was going to go for the chest, and I almost missed that poem. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't. And then this, this trophy right here was the um, Ready for Commitment Trophy. And this was the very first set of armor that I fully upgraded, which was the uh, Fate Breaker armor. And I upgraded all three pieces just because I felt like it was nice to have that armor for the very last mission. Which is where you get it at, is the very last mission. And um, yeah, I pretty much leveled it all the way up. And then this little cutscene happens uh, right after you beat Odin and you get the trophy Ragnarok. But um, you're Atreus because Atreus gets knocked out because after you kill Odin, Ragnarok attacks you. And then it like shit blows up and then you see Kratos carrying Atreus because he thinks he's dead and shit. And then, um, yeah, you come to as Atreus because this is like the very end of the game. But you get Ragnarok for beating Odin. And this little cutscene, this, um, these credits that are playing, I'm pretty sure this is, this was the very last thing I was supposed to have done in the game. But I didn't because I went ahead and got it out the way. But this was to attend a funeral. And spoiler alert, it's a funeral for Brock because Odin kills Brock and that made me so sad. I hated that. Fuck, I hated to watch Brock die like that. And then this one was for um, returning all of the uh, all of Nihog's children, which were um, 
I can't exactly remember what the hell they're called. They're, um, like, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're, uh, that dragon's children, and it's the rightful place. Yeah, all the lost linworms, or however the hell you pronounce that, and, um, it was a, it was a pretty nice little, uh, thing. You just had to go around closing rifts. And then, uh, as I was running around, I opened up these chests as well because it gives you your health and shit. And as I opened this chest up, I got the very last horn, which, uh, gave me the full belly trophy, which was to get all the apples and all the horns from the near near chest. And then this one, since I was still in the area, I decided to do the, uh, crater hunt missions. And this was killing, like, the very last animal. You had to kill, like, a handful of animals. There's, like, a huntress you kill. There's a couple dragons, some drackey. All, like, all sort of shit that you kill. But, you, uh, you, yeah, you end up getting the invasive species trophy. Which uh, is pretty much just crew, complete all the crater hunts. And then this one was still in Vanaheim as well. And this was the stags of season where you had to go around collecting the deer. And once you hit circle on them, they go through these little rifts. And they just go back to Ratatoskr, which, honestly, it was a pretty easy side of mission, because there was only four of them. <laughs> and then, yeah, you get the pure hat, which is um, pretty much just return all the stags of the seasons. It, it wasn't a hard fight at all. <laughs> like, it wasn't a hard mission. And then this, this fight was the King uh, Hurf, or however the hell you pronounce it. And he's the Berserker King. And his fight, honestly, was a little difficult. I'm not even going to lie to you. And then you get this really cool ass sword which can summon a bunch of other swords as you'll see later on in the video when I'm fighting the Valkyrie Queen. But that sword was badass as hell. And then after I beat him since I was still in Midgard I decided to go around and finish off some of the remaining like, side quests I had. And this one was for me collecting the very last flower and you get the florist trophy. And you know Freya goes over there and she picks up the flower and this is like the very last flower. There's only like nine of them I think. And then, yeah, you pretty much just get a flower from each realm. <laughs> and then, as I'll still explain Midgard, I decided to start looking around. And all I needed was this, which was the very last artifact. And as soon as I got it, I got the Collector Trophy. Or the, yeah, the Curator Trophy, that's what it was called. But I ended up getting the, uh, like, that was the very last artifact that I needed. And then, right here, I'm gonna let y'all watch this first fight. And... <laughs> Like, this fight pissed me off so much. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I had to fight this woman at least 15 different times. And yeah, as you see, there's the swords I was talking about where they uh, they come from that king. Like, they're berserkers that you have to kill just to even fight the king. And then once you beat all of them, you get them put in the sword, which was pretty cool. But during this fight, this Valkyrie Queen Gyna beat the shit out of me so many times, I was honestly ready to call it quits. <laughs> Like, I was mad as hell that I was getting my shit. Like, she was giving me the old Mike Tyson fucking one-two combo. And it, it would not stop. And uh, as you'll see in the clip that's playing currently, I come so close to beating her. And it just kept doing it like that. Like, each time I would fight her, I would get bullshitted. Fucking. Because <laughs> she jumps up and she stomps on you, as you'll see. And fucking, like, when uh, Freya blocked her with that sword... Yeah, look at this shit. I'm in rage mode, and she still can jump on me? Like, that pissed me off, and that didn't make no damn sense. But, you know, I started giving her the old Kratos, like, 118 combo. And, I, you know, just beating the shit out of her. And I used the rage just to get my health back up. But, yeah, this bitch is hitting me with everything she got. So, I'm like, okay, fuck it. I gotta hit this bitch or it hurts. So, I start hitting her with every hard fucking combo I have in my inventory. <laughs> So I'm hitting her with the runic arrows to slow her down so like my powers are boosted and shit. So I'm hitting her. I'm hitting this bitch with everything I got. And as you see, it's slowly taking her health away. It, it wasn't like, like... It was... You know, I did die. I ain't gonna lie to you. She killed me. And then I used the resurrection stone, which is what they're there for. So yeah, she does that shit and I hit her with the fucking break combo. Then she starts getting her ass beat. So I'm still whooping her ass. Like, you know, she's getting her ass beat and handed to her. And fucking... Like, I slowed her down enough to where, um, she, like, I could block her attacks and shit. And look at this shit. Dodge. Hit that shit with a shield block, right? So I'm beating the shit out. I'm giving her the combos, right? Look at this. And then, and then I get fucked. Look at this shit. Dodge. I hit her with the fucking shield break thing again. I hit her again. Look how close she is to dying. Look at this. She's, like, maybe three hits away from death. So I hit the, like, my dumbass hit circle. So I dodged that shit. And look at this. I could not dodge that. And I died. 
right when she was one fucking shot. Let me tell you, I was mad as hell. And that kept happening over and over and over and fucking over. And I was mad. So, eventually it got to the point where uh, I got back to here. And uh, she's giving me the old fucking Valkyrie Queen combo, bro. She's beating the shit out of me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I didn't think I was gonna win this fight. But I did, thankfully. <laughs> So you see, I freeze her, so she's a little bit slower. She jumps up, and she jumped. I thought this was it. Like, I thought she just killed me, but she didn't. I have a fucking, a little bit of health. So I'm hitting her with all, I hit her with every fucking possible combo. I pick up a little bit of health. She smacks the fuck out of me. So I'm hitting her some more. Look at this. Look at this shit. You see how close I am to death? Like, I hit her, like, sh that was her mistake right there was doing that shield shit. Because as soon as I did that, dude, I did not, I relentlessly beat the shit out of her. Like, I kept going at it. And I was not stopping. See, and then I had to stop for a minute and take a fucking breather. Because I was hyped as fuck that I just beat this bitch. And I hope, I was hoping Kratos would have ripped off her fucking wings, but he didn't. So this whole long, like, eight ass minute cutscene starts playing. And fucking, uh, it pretty much ends. Like, this is the very ending of the cutscene. And Freya cuts off the Valkyrie Queen's head. And as soon as that happens, you get the trophy, the true queen, and pretty much that's just beating Gyna, which was one of the last trophies that I needed. And uh, at this point, all I had left was to get the very last relic, which I ended up finding in um, the prison that you discover. And it was a, it was Sindri's little sound tool. And then from here, I ended up getting the platinum. And yeah. It was a amazing game, and I hope y'all have enjoyed. Y'all be safe, and y'all have fun, and let me know what games you want to see me play and get the trophy for. And this game was absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I got to play it. Y'all be safe and have fun. I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.